Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video we will be talking about why you should submit variants to Google Shopping and also talk a little bit about the technical aspect of submitting variants. Um, I've seen quite a lot of uh, issues with beginners uh, of not knowing what to do uh, once you want to submit variants. So this video will explain everything from A to Z what you should be doing. So let's talk about the why. The why is actually the most obvious is to increase exposure. Increasing exposure with variance is possible because you're actually generating more equity. So you have a lot more products. So let's say you have 10 main products and each of them have uh, six variants. That means you can have more than 60 uh, different products listed to Google Shopping. Um, this is because you can then submit the color. For example, if you're submitting a t-shirt, it can be a different color and also a different size. Now, why is this important? Uh, not only is it increasing the equity, but it's also helping the uh, filtered results. The filtered results is uh, activated once you search, for example, for a specific product. Let's say I want to search for a Nike t-shirt. Um, you will know that with the Nike t-shirts there are different sizes and colors. So once you put in the search column uh, Nike t-shirts, you will see on the left hand side of the search results um, an optional filtered system that shows you uh, the specific colors that you can search for and also the sizes. In certain uh, search results, you will also see it at the bottom of the pages. For example, if you're looking for a dress, then the specific dresses will be listed at the bottom. For example, a mini skirt, a long dress, a short dress, cocktail dress, etc. So this will be only activated for specific search terms that have uh, a more defined search result. It is those defined search results that you need to focus on because the longer, uh, the more defined the search result, the higher the intent of buying is. For example, a search term from uh, just a Nike t-shirt versus one that says black size XL, the likelihood of somebody buying that specific t-shirt is so much higher. So it's very important that you then list those types of variants. There's also a new feature and it's not available in all countries, but it's called image search. With image search, the search results for Google Shopping will be starting to show up. So if somebody is searching for a cocktail dress, then the products from Google Shopping will start showing up at the top bar uh, within the search panel. So if you're not aware, Google Shopping shows up in the normal web search. It shows up in the right corner uh, or on top of it, depending on the search term. And it also sh uh, shows up in Google Shopping, the fully fledged marketplace, and then also in image search. So it's very important that you use the variants to really uh, get all the potential search impressions that you are eligible for. So the common attributes for the uh, variations is um, so it defines the, the variant of the product itself. This can be the color, the size, the pattern, the material, um, also the gender, the size type and the size system. So the size system is, for example, if you use uh, UK or US uh, measurements. So for shoes, for example, you have a size nine, which is UK, but you also have the European version, which is 47 uh, or 42, if you want to be exact. So th then you need to define the size type because then people who are searching for it uh, will have much better results. So when you submit a variant, it is very important that you at least uh, list one of them in your attributes. So for example, if you only want to list the color, then use the color. It is very important that when you submit your titles that you add the variant that you're defining. So let's say we're choosing color and size. So let's say the color is blue. And my pen is not working, so I'll just use a different one. Oh, that's better. So uh, you have the color blue and then the size, for example, XL. 
It is very important that you add that in there as well because it will increase your potential uh, ranking because not only are you using the attributes to add the, the variant values but also in the title. Also do this for the first 150 so characters for your description um, to emphasize on what they are buying because the first 150 characters is what is visible in Google uh, shopping um, so the rest of the description is actually not really visible uh, unless you go into more details but the likelihood of people going to that section is very low so it's very important that you focus on the first 150 characters uh, and have around 500 characters which is pretty optimized so when submitting the variants it is also important that you submit the item group id now, if you have one parent product and that has a specific ID, use that ID for all the variants because all the variants of that one specific product needs to have a similar ID, well, well not similar, exact same ID for the item group. So the product ID can be different, but the item group ID has to be the same for all of them. So there are a little bit more uh, requirements to when you have to use variants. So certain products are required. For example, if you have shoes or clothing, then you need to submit the size. So there's, if you don't submit, for example, the size for those products, for like so example, the t-shirt, then your product is not approved and you cannot submit it to Google Shopping. So it's very important that you do that. There are a little bit more requirements so for specific countries. For example, the Bra uh, Brazil, France, Germany, Japan, UK and US, you have to submit for the apparel category. So everything that belongs under apparel, you need to submit the age group, the color, the gender, the size and of course the item group ID. Again, if you do not submit this, then the likelihood, well, not the likelihood, then you will not be able to submit your products onto Google Shopping. Now, when you submit uh, variants, the likelihood of uh, having an extra little feature that shows the different colors. So let's say you submit a t-shirt and you go to Google Shopping, you'll see your image in the right corner, then some text, the title, the text, uh, and then the variants are here. Then underneath it you get the price and then the link to the buy button or the shop now button um, so these images or a drop down menu that shows the different sizes will not always be eligible for your product so it's possible that this can change now what you need to do is uh, make sure that you submit all the required data and then you get a higher chance of submitting them so you can see them here and also um, you can get the drop down menu uh, instead of the images so that is what you would potentially see sometimes you will also see just a couple of different uh, color variations of your product so let's say you show, show a t-shirt in black and in yellow and it's possible you get separate listings but also it's possible that you get one listing with all the variants within them. Uh, how to control this? There's no control. It's up to Google to decide if you are eligible. It all depends on the ranking and also uh, on competitors, what they are doing. Um, so there's a, a very complicated algorithm in there and I have no clue what that is, of course. Uh, it's it's a, a trade secret from Google. Um, but uh, I recommend submitting all the required data and uh, do everything as good as possible and then your results will be so good. Now, the technical aspect of submitting variants, uh, some merchants get caught up in this. Now, when you submit a product, obviously you need to submit it one per, per product. So for example, if you're submitting a yellow, black and blue, you have to submit each individual. So there's not like you can submit one product and then list all the variants with a attribute. So you have to se separate them all into one, uh, each individual product listing. The landing page, however, needs to be uh, identical to the product that is submitted. So what a lot of customers do is like, for example, submit one link of the parent product and then have like 20 variants listed on there. That is kind of okay if the pricing is all the same, but if they slightly change, then you need to submit a unique 
URL for each individual product. So let's say, uh, to keep it simple, I have a t-shirt in yellow and one in blue. The, the link needs to go to, for example, I've got example.com and then t-shirt. And then what you can do is, uh, if you speak to your web developer, is to actually assign a query string uh, that defines the color. So color is blue. Then on the server side scripting, the, it will detect that this is a blue color, which then on the landing page, it will change all the images, uh, the, the pricing, the title, etc., to blue. If this is yellow, it will change everything to yellow. So if the yellow one is 9.95 and the blue one is 10.95, one, one dollar difference, then uh, you can change that with the link. Now this is really required because Google fetches or checks the pricing on your website. If you, for example, submit just t-shirt without the query string and it uh, searches for the yellow one, it will say, okay, great. The price is identical to the data feed, but because the blue one is $1 more expensive and it lands on that page, it will see $9.95 and not $10.95. And that can cause a big problem because then there is a price mismatch. What Google tries to do is verify that the pricing that you submit to the data feed in Google Merchant is identical to the landing page one. And therefore you need to be able to uh, submit the different product pricing. It is also important, of course, that you submit the correct title, the image and the description that is relevant to that variant product. So that is actually submitting uh, the technical side of that. Um, there are a lot of uh, applications, uh, also my application, that can create unique links for these products for certain platforms. Um, but for other platforms, for example, you need to do, go the extra mile and make some changes to your theme or to how your system works. Uh, also other systems that you're using, if you're using a plugin or a spreadsheet, you need to uh, do the same for that. Um, so if you submit a variant, for example, let's say again a t-shirt and you submit the color and the size, each variant you need to submit the color and the size. So you cannot, for example, submit a couple of them with color and a couple of, with, of them with a size. You need to do all of them. So if you have like, uh, I've got here an example. So if you have a t-shirt with nine variants, so three sizes and three colors, you cannot just uh, give one variant with the size type. So the size type means uh, the, the, the sizing of the system that you're using. Um, so you cannot, for example, just add one in there. Or, for example, if you do two sizes and three colors, that's not possible. You have to give each individual product the sizes as well. Um, there's also an option for non-supported variants. So if you don't have a, a, a variant that belongs to any of these, but you still want to submit the variant, but they don't have the attributes for them, for example, it's not a color size, a uh, pattern, etc., then you can still submit them. So you do not submit an item group ID, do not do that, and also do not fill in any of these values then submit the product as a individual product with the unique link and all the correct data and ensure that the title actually correctly describe the variant. So if it's, let's say the piano, you've got them in different colors and that's not really possible to add them in there. Let's say colors doesn't exist. then you have to say piano blue, piano black, and piano orange etc so you have to add that in the title uh, for it to be able to be listed so you cannot submit 10 variants with all the same title that will not work also make sure that the images the description and the pricing perfectly reflect the product variant that you're submitting so that's pretty much uh, all of it about variants. So I really recommend submitting all the variants because it really helps you a lot. Some variant types 
are a little bit less effective than others. Let's say, for example, a t-shirt, the colors are very effective, but the size is a little bit less effective. You do get some impressions for specific size searches, but it's not that great. You have to remember it's all based on the searches of your customer. So if your customer doesn't use a specific search uh, term, then your products will not be listed for that search term because nobody is searching for it. So you have to be careful that you don't assume that a customer is going to do something. Go into Google AdWords, do some research uh, about everything and then submit uh, the correct products that you want to target. I hope this video has been very helpful and thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer every single one of them. See you in the next one and thank you for watching.